Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Mill Career Mode series. And today we will start off the new season and it's gonna be a debut for our two new signings, Jack Butland and Arturo Gonzalez. We will have QPR at home, so I'm, I wanna say a rather easy opponent right at the start. But obviously we can't take them lightly. Obviously we're still in the transfer window. However, we only have 2 million left after our big deals. We had 10, 10.5 million to start off with and now it's only 2.4 million. So I'm not sure whether we can do that much, but let's just see if anything comes up and we might make some late business here. Alright, so here we are at the then kicking off the new season here in 2019. And boy, am I excited for this one. Oh, obviously it's also going to be the debut for Luke Shaw. We've signed him on a pre-contract, if you remember. And what a beast he is. Here's our side, and just look at it. It looks so strong, doesn't it? Wow. That's a very, very nice starting 11. And here's QPR side. They've got Charlie Austin on the bench. Pretty good striker in my opinion. And Leroy Burr is in there. Diakite. Ugh. Arturo Gonzalez. Yes! What a ball to Zivkovic! What a ball to Zivkovic! And the first, pretty much the first shot towards the goal for either team has gone in. But have you seen that back heel by Arturo Gonzalez? I love this guy already. Just look at that. <laughs> oh, we're gonna play some beautiful football this year. Ah, oh, Duro Gonzalez. This guy is amazing. You have to foul him. And even if you foul him, you can't stop him. Well, maybe now. Just look at it. He's a complete player. 78 free kick power, 80 free kick ac accuracy, 86 curve. This guy is just out of this world. And look at that, look at that perfect free kick! Arturo Gonzalez! Oh my god, I forgot who recommended him to me. Well, I'm gonna find it out and I'm gonna send you a love letter. Arturo Gonzalez is a god! In his debut, he gets two assists and Zivkovic also gets two goals. Oh my god, what a signing. Oh, there's Butland's first save in a middle uniform. That was actually also the first shot on target for QPR here in the 60th minute. Oh, and there's this, almost the second one. Wow. Sleeping there. Oh shit, I didn't even see him. Did you just see him? I didn't. And now I'm gonna concede here. No, Butlin is there! Yes! Alright, so I'm making my first change. It's gonna be a little double substitution. Robert's gonna come off for Julian Weigel. And it also sh it's also Serge Nabry in for Danny Inks. Oh my god! I did not expect that to go in. Well, not even Jack Butler can save that. Holy shit! Just look at it. Oh, oh, the gold decision system. Hmm, that's needed there. Oh, that was so close, wasn't it? Oh, I think, I think, yeah, it's barely in. Just barely. What the fuck? But just look at that shot. That was, that was just beautiful. Wow. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I just had an orgasm. I just had an orgasm. <laughs> oh my god, I love this team. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Arturo Gonzalez. Oh, could he be the best signing we've ever made? I mean, after one game, you can't really say it. Well, you can't really tell, but you can tell that he has the potential to be the best signing we've made. Oh wow! 
God's sake! Just pretty much, I, I pretty much turned my brain off already because I thought the ref would blow whistle after like 10 minutes of added time or injury time, but apparently not. But I'm not, I, I'm not complaining. No, I'm not complaining. What the fuck am I doing? Eh, what the hell? What is wrong with me? Oh, big chance there. Uh, the game is still not ended. It's absolutely insane. Finally! Finally, the ref blows his whistle. A very good debut for us. The two goals we've conceded are kind of uh, kind of a buzzkill. But still, this team is so much fun to play with. Arturo Gonzalez looks like he's a great signing. And I'm just so excited for the season. Look at that. A 9.9 .9 rating for Zivkovic for two goals and one assist. And a 9.6 rating for Arturo Gonzalez for one goal and two assists. Looks like we've got a new dream duo on our new dream team in Arturo Gonzalez and Zivkovic. We've got a transfer offer for Wes Saunders. Uh, and I wanted to sell him and now I'm gonna do Dundee FC want him. So yeah, just take him. The only player I would go for if I had like 10 million or something is Callum Chambers because he would be I don't know, a bit younger than Carl Jenkinson and also a bit better. But we would have to pay, like I said, around 10 million to get him. And right now we just can't afford it, but he's definitely someone I would put on my shortlist. Well, and this is where the Stoke game would be. We have a game against Stoke, but unfortunately, I lost the footage. Oh, what am I doing? And what are they doing? So hot, so f fucking high up the pitch. Oh my god, they haven't done that the whole game. They were they weren't pushing bodies forward, and why would they now? Just a couple minutes before half time. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're down one nil here. Well, the enthusiasm and the euphoria from the first game has died. What a shit performance that was. God, I have I mentioned already uh, that I hate playing Stoke? I think every time we faced him I've mentioned that. Just look at it, we only got two shots. And they, are only pre they pretty much only got one good uh, shot. Which was the goal. The other ones were all from outside the box and like really ridiculous. God damn it. Ah, oh, just shut up, board. I'm not in the mood. Anyway, so we got a transfer for Simon Agnew for a season loan. So yet again, he's gonna go out. Got a transfer offer for Aiden O'Brien. 25 years old, 58 overall. He's not gonna have much of a future here. In real life, it probably looks a bit different, but right here, nah. And Monaco won Danny Ings for 20 million. Well, no, f no freaking chance. All right, so I guess it wasn't too bad, really. The game against Stoke. Didn't have too many highlights, and our performance was really, really poor. So it's not like uh, you've missed a great game or anything. It was actually pretty boring. So anyways, luckily I still had the commentary part of this video, because I record that separately. That's why uh, you, could he uh, you could hear my live commentary. But anyways, for the next game, which is against Chelsea, I do have the footage. So yeah, let's get back into the video. Alright, so on transfer deadline day, we got Chelsea at home, so not a very easy match, but I think we can do it. Pretty tough opponent for this last game of the episode, and this London derby here against Chelsea. Alright, so nothing special with our side, John Stone's gonna come back in for Eric Dyer, and this is a very very important game early on. I mean, if we would have won that game against Stoke, we would have six points, and if we lose this game, it wouldn't be too bad. But if we lose this game, we're gonna only have three points after three games, and that's just not good enough. And looking at their side, still got Schurle and Thorgan Hazard. It's just please stop passing the ball around. Like, it's not like you get anywhere. So annoying. You can't touch it. I can touch this. Ooh, do, 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 do. Finally. 
Oh my god. That is a free kick. And that's a red two to Philippe Lewis. That is very, very harsh. That is very, very harsh. Let's take another look at it. Ah, not necessarily a red. Hmm. Not sure. Tell me what you think. Alright, let's go, Arturo. Let's go. Speed. Courtois here. Oh, maybe not. Oh! But I still have to make a save there, and we get a corner out of that. Do something with that. That's a nice corner, actually. And John Stones, without me controlling him. But Courtois saves it. How the hell? How the hell is it? Well, since you guys don't want to hear me yelling or raging, I'm just gonna say, what a nice goal by Chelsea there. That was really deserved. And totally beautifully set up. I appreciate, I appreciate that they scored against me with such a beautiful goal. Thank you. Yes! That was unexpected. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I... Salala, no! It's blocked. Oh yes, big chance here. Big chance, Danny Ings. At the wing. Ugh. No! Fuck, I just... I just looked for the pass. I didn't look at Danny. And then he realized that Harry Martinez was making a tackle. No! Oh, come on. That was not two minutes. Anyways, only a one all draw. Which is kind of ridiculous to say against Chelsea, but they were down one man. But actually, I forgot teams get better when they that when they're down one man. So I think this is a good result. We got pretty much got away with one there. It's just a shame that we've conceded that stupid goal. All right, so we're into transfer deadline day. If anything happens, I'm gonna let you know. All right, so literally nothing has happened for us at least. But anyways, it's time to end transfer deadline day. And yeah, we're gonna see in just a second. We've got a Capital One Cup fixture. And in the first round of the bloody Capital One Cup, we're gonna face Manchester United. That's absolutely ridiculous, but Zivkovic and Roberts are thankful for the opportunities. That is cool. We've got a youth squad monthly report, but I want to check out the monthly scouting update. And there's some decent players, obviously, with a five star judgment, five star experience scout. Oh, this goalkeeper looks very good. 5'11 is a bit short, but I don't know, he might actually grow. I mean, in his height. But, ah, let's sign him up. Zivkovic wants to discuss wages, so we're gonna do that. Obviously, we do have enough money to take care of that. And he wants 45 thousand a little upgrade to his 40,000 uh, salary I will happily give that to him why do we get Manchester United in a very first Capital One Cup game this season that's just absolutely it's, it's just ridiculous isn't it uh, but anyways obviously we're gonna take him on next time also we're gonna have games against Sunderland and also our very first Europa League game against Genk Who are obviously uh, from Belgium. Let's actually take a look at our group. All right, so we got SC Braga KRC Genk and Legia Warsaw Wars Warsaw obviously Warsaw uh, from Poland Warsaw But yeah, that's actually an alright group I think we could get through there. I mean we got through a group with Bayer Leverkusen, Fenerbahce and Real Madrid last year in the Champions League. So we should get through this one too. But yeah, three games, four points only unfortunately. One win, one draw, one loss. But anyways, let's try to do it better next time as we're gonna have three different competitions in one episode. So that's pretty exciting. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did, it really helps my channel out. Subscribe for more Mayo Cream and support the series. Tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.